is an iconic figure in the history of African American civil rights. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the life and accomplishments of Martin Luther King Jr. Born January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia, he was a skilled student, graduating from some of the most distinguished segregated schools in the South. He was inspired to fight for civil rights by his father, Martin Luther King Sr., a Baptist minister who was also a leader in the battle for social equality. In June of 1953, King Jr. married Coretta Scott, who also became an important figure in the fight for civil rights. The next year, he became pastor of the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama. Already a prominent member of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or NAACP, by December 1955, he took on a more high-profile role in the organization. He led the charge in the Montgomery bus boycott after African-American bus rider Rosa Parks was arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white man. The boycott lasted well over a year, and during that time, King was personally targeted by firebombs to his home and was even arrested. Ultimately, the battle was won and King became known as a great black leader. The year-old protest against city buses is officially called off and the Negro citizens of Montgomery are urged to return to the buses tomorrow morning on a non-segregated basis. By 1957, King helped found the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. This group used peaceful protest methods such as boycotts, sit-ins, and marches to fight for civil rights. Unfortunately, these demonstrations did not always remain peaceful, as standoffs with police sometimes turned violent. King was also adept at utilizing the media to bring the issues into the forefront of public consciousness. In the early 1960s, much of King's work took place in southern states like Georgia, Alabama, and Florida. He was also instrumental in the March on Washington, which took place on August 28, 1963. Despite a great deal of controversy surrounding the event, the march drew record numbers to the city's National Mall. On the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, King made his most famous speech, pleading for tolerance and equality. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. This event and King's words are credited with assisting in the passage of 1964's Civil Rights Act. The next year, a failed march between Selma and Montgomery, Alabama erupted in violence. The day was nicknamed Bloody Sunday and is considered a decisive moment in the history of civil rights. Though he was not involved, King organized another march on March 25th, and he delivered another important speech on the steps of the state capitol. How long, not long. Yes, sir. Because no lie can live forever. Yes, sir. How long? Not long. How long? Because you shall reap what you sow. Yes. In 1966, King and his counterparts tried to steer the movement into the north of the country, starting with Chicago. He moved to the slums of the city to show support for those in poverty and continued to hold marches despite a terrible public reaction. By 1967, King had shifted his focus by vocally opposing the Vietnam War. King suggested funds spent on the war would be better used on social programs and on balancing economic inequalities. For those who say to me, stick to civil rights, I have another answer. That is that I fought too long and too hard now against segregated public accommodation end up segregating my moral concerns. This evolution in his beliefs lost him support among whites, including President Johnson. 1968 saw King help coordinate the Poor People's Campaign to further his agenda against financial disparity. This drive was not supported by some prominent members of the civil rights movement as they feared its goals were too much to overcome. To further this campaign, King traveled to Memphis, Tennessee to show support for striking black public workers. There, on April 3rd, he gave the last speech of his career, his prophetic I've been to the mountaintop address. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. The next night, on April 4th, 1968, King was standing on the balcony of his motel when he was shot and killed. Good evening. 
Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. As the country mourned, violent riots erupted across the nation. James Earl Ray was later convicted of the murder, though conspiracy theories remain as to who was behind the assassination. King has been recognized for his work a number of times, including a Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. Today, King's contributions to the civil rights movement are immeasurable, and his legacy lives on as one of equality and tolerance. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory 